Hello everyone, my name is Nick and now I'll show you how to build an admin panel for the database. So what are we gonna build? First of all, here is the users table that displays all the users from my database. And here is a projects table that displays only projects that are related to the selected user from the users table. So when I'm clicking on different users at the user table, my project table reloads and shows all the projects related to the current user. Also here is a search field that allows me to search for the users by the email. And finally, here is a chart that shows me how many projects were created as a specific date. So let's get our hands dirty. First of all, we need to connect our database to the UI Bakery. So I'm pressing the connect button, going to the MySQL. I'll call it my project DB, uh, configuring the username, password, and the database. Now it's connected to the UI Bakery. So let's go to the builder and add a user table. First of all, I'm creating a new action that will load the collection of users from the database. Then I'm just going to the components, seeking for the smart table and adding it. So it just shows me all the users that's already loaded from the database. Cool. The next step is to add a projects table. Okay, doing the same. Creating a new action, I'll call it load projects, then configuring it. So right now I'll not use a lot collection step, I'll use a custom SQL query. So what do we need to do here? We need to select everything from the projects table where user ID of the project will be equal to the selected user ID from the users table. Okay, and now I'm doing the same, going to the components, seeking for the smart table, and it's configured for us. So all the data is here and it works. Now we need to make sure that when I'm clicking on different users, it will reload the projects table. To do so, I'm going to the users table configuration and asking it to reload project section on each row selection. Let's take a look and it works now. Great. The next step is to build a chart that will show us how many projects were created at a specific date. So again, let's create one more action. It will be again an SQL query. So what we'll do, so we'll select everything from the projects table. Okay, then we'll group the data by date, like projects, create an add date. And what will we select here? We'll select projects, create a date as date and count, since we want to know how many projects were created at this specific date. Okay, now I just want to go to the components, seek for a chart, I will use a bar chart for this purpose. And now we have a bar chart that shows us how many projects were created at this specific date. Great. The last thing we need to do here is to add a mail filter. So I'm going here, I'll add a card to make it a bit fancier. And let's add a text here, like search by email. And we need a text box here that will search for us. Okay, so what do we need to do here? We want to ask this text box to trigger load users action each time when its content changed. So we are mapping this load user section, but now it will not work since load users action will reload all the users data from the database. So we need to add a custom SQL query here. So we will select everything from the users table where email will be something like the data inserted in this search input. Okay, let's take a look at how does it work. So 
that yeah it works so as you can see we just built a pretty good admin panel for my users and projects database in just a few minutes thank you